Minista ndugu viongozi wa Kristo wa Divine Hamjambo Murembe Muri Muoyo Muri Baramu Musangalire Mwami Yesu itsomi yue Bwana Yesu asifiwe jameni Hebu nione kwa mikono Bwana Yesu asifiwe Hey Naona mumekuja kweli Kwanza mimi nataka nichukue nafasi hii nimshukuru Mungu kwa kutupatia hii nafasi tufike hapa kanisani kwa ibada hii maalum ya kusherekea miaka sabini na tatu ya kanisa letu la divine vile mnajua mimi ni mshirika wa kanisa la AIC ililetwa na wamishenari hii yenu imeundwa na Mwafrika hapa nyumbani. Na mimi na waheshimu sana mmejenga kanisa kubwa. Nataka nijua shukuru sana. Sio mara yangu ya kwanza kuvaa hii kofia. Kuna siku mlikuja mkanivalisha hii kofia. Kule Karen, si namna hiyo? Na mkaniambia niungane na divine na mkanipatia nafasi ya kuwa evangelist. Ndio? <laughs> eh, mwinjilisi hapo chini. Si ndio? Na nimefurahi sasa leo kufika hapa wakati huo na mumesema hapa eh, ndugu yangu Douglas Peru amesema ati wakati ule Mulintembelea nilikuwa naibu wa rais. Si ni kweli? Naona hata mshirika moja hapa Brian baada hata amekuamia hapo tu anaona huyu mtu ni ule ule. <laughs> Nafikiri ni kwa sababu sijabadilisha sura. Lakini kwa mapenzi ya Mungu na kwa maombi yenu na kwa kura zenu ambayo mimi nashukuru sana. Leo nimekuja katika kanisa la Divine kama rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya nasema asante sana. Mimi nimefurahi sana kuweka historia hii ya kuwa rais wa kwanza kuungana na ibada ya kanisa la divine. I am very proud of that record. And I don't take it for granted that God has given me the opportunity to participate as president in a fellowship of this great church built by Kenyans. Mimi nasema asante sana. Mimi vile vile na washukuru sana kwa sababu mimi mulinialika baka nikafika headquarters ya divine kule Boyani. Na nimepata taarifa hapa ya kwamba pale wakati nilikuja tulikuja tukaweka jiwe la msingi na nimepata habari ya kwamba mmefanya kazi bidii kubwa mmeweka pesa karibu milioni ishirini katika ujenzi wa hiyo cathedral yenu pale na askofu amenipatia maneno maneno akaniambia kuna maneno ya lazima ifanyike pale si ndio mimi nataka niwaambie kwamba kama serikali tunatambua kazi kanisa inafanya na tunaheshimu mahali pa kanisa kama serikali ya Kenya kwa sababu katiba kipengele ya kwanza the first article of the constitution says we the people of Kenya acknowledging the supremacy of the almighty god hapo ndio tunaanza na katiba yetu kutambua mahali pa Mwenyezi Mungu na mahali ba kanisa letu na all religious organizations in our republic na mimi nataka niwahakikishie ya kwamba mahali pa kanisa haitaujumiwa na serikali ya Kenya We are going to work with the church 
We are going to respect the church and we are going to partner with the church in all the areas kwa hamazisha wananchi katika mambo ya maendeleo ya taifa letu la Kenya katika sera za serikali mambo ya, ma, ya, ya miradi ya maendeleo na vile vile kuwashukuru kwa sababu mnasimamia mashule zetu mnasimamia ma eh, zetu na kazi zingine nyingi mmesikia hata hapa tuko na makasisi ambao wanatusaidia katika kuendesha serikali zetu ya kitaifa na county so we are all of us united in the service of the people of Kenya na kwa hivyo nimeshukuru sana kufika hapa leo i am very proud kuvaa hii kofia kama eh, ama mmoja wenu tukiwa tunashiriki pamoja katika kupeleka mambo yetu ya Kenya mbele mimi nataka niwashukuru sana vile askofu wamesema askofu wamesema tufanye kazi zetu kwa kujumuisha na kuunganisha wananchi wote nyinyi mnajua neno la Mungu katika matayo tano tisa inasema heri wapatanishi wale wanaunganisha watu kwa sababu wataitwa wana wa Mungu so to all of you who are working for the unity of the people of Kenya as the words of Matthew says you will truly be blessed and your names shall be in a place as the children of God so sote kama viongozi tuliopata baraka ya uongozi tuunganishe wananchi wetu wa Kenya mimi nataka niwahakikishie vile niliwaeleza and i want to say today in church kwamba nilisema maneno ya zaburi 113 mstari wa saba na nane inayosema Mungu atawainua wanyonge kutoka mabumbini mpaka wataketi meza moja na wafalme That is the mission of this government because I made a pledge and a commitment that we are going to lift those at the bottom so that we can lift them up na ndio sababu mnaona tumeweka mpango yetu kwa kuhakikisha kwamba tunazalisha chakula ya kutosha tuondoe aibu ya njaa katika taifa letu la Kenya ndio mnaona tumeweka mpango kamili ya kuhakikisha kwamba tuko na funding model mpya ambayo itahakikisha hata mtoto wa maskini ataweza kusoma university ataweza kusoma tivet kwa sababu tumetengeneza mfumo that is going to make sure no child is left behind ndio sababu tumeweka pesa nyingi kuajiri walimu wetu for the first time in the history of Kenya tumeajiri walimu 1056 mara moja it has never happened na january tumeshatangaza tena tutaajiri walimu wengine 1020 because we want to make sure that every child in Kenya irrespective of their background wanapata nafasi ya kusoma as a government as we focus on ensuring that no Kenyan is left behind ndio sababu mnaona tumebadilisha mfumo wa mambo ya afya ya Kenya pale mbeleni mambo ya bima ya afya ilikuwa ni kwa wale wenye uwezo kwa sasa kupitia mfumo huu mpya mambo ya bima ya afya itafikia kila mkenya sio lazima ukue na kazi sio lazima ukue na uwezo yule ambaye huna uwezo wa kulipa hiyo pesa ya shif sasa serikali ya Kenya itakulibia na hakuna mkenya tena najua pale nyuma kulikuwa mkenya anaenda hospitali ako na saratani ako na hypertension 
ako na ugonjwa wa sukari ile inaitwa diabetes anakaa hospitali alafu mwisho anaambiwa sasa kwa hii kadi yako pesa imeisha wewe sasa enda nyumbani ungojee kifo how heartless can we be na ndio tumesema katika mfumo wetu huu mpya hakuna mkenya atatolewa tena hospitalini ati kwa sababu pesa yake imeisha sasa tuko na mfumo ambayo itawezesha kila mkenya atibiwe asiwe na pesa awe na pesa because that is what a society that is what our constitution demands of us as government na hiyo ndio mpango ambayo tuko naye and i want to promise you we are going to change this country ndio sababu tumeweka mfumo leo Nairobi hii aladwa yuko hapa leo Nairobi hii hapa mkuru kule kibera tunajenga nyumba affordable housing ambayo mwananchi mdogo na shilingi elfu tatu amalipa analipa saa hizi kwa nyumba yenye haina maji haina stima haina choo kwa hiyo hiyo elfu tatu hapa mbele na mtaniona disemba mwaka huu tutaanza na nyumba elfu moja kwanza hapa Nairobi mwananchi wa kawaida mwananchi ambaye analipa leo nyumba ya mabati na matope ataingia kwa orofa kumi na moja aishi pale na hiyo elfu tatu yake kwa sababu we want to make a difference in the Republic of Kenya that is the transformation our nation is going to go through and i am confident that we are going to take this nation to the next level kwa hivyo mimi nawauliza ndugu zangu viongozi sisi tuliopata nafasi hii sasa maneno ya siasa tuweke kando hiyo maneno ingine yote tumemalizana nayo sasa tuungane na nawashukuru viongozi wamesema hapa mheshimiwa Raila Odinga alikubaliana na mimi tuungane tuunganishe taifa letu la Kenya tuhakikishe ya kwamba tunapeleka taifa letu la Kenya mbele bila ya kujali wewe ni wasiasa upande gani wewe ni wa mrengokani kwa sababu katika manifesto ya azimio ilikuwa housing manifesto ya Kenya kwanza ilikuwa housing manifesto ya azimio ilikuwa mambo ya afya manifesto ya Kenya kwanza ilikuwa mambo ya afya sasa mbona tusiungane tutekeleze yale yaliyoko katika manifesto yetu tubadilishe Kenya ndio Kenya iweze kusonga mbele Tumeelewana jamii ni watu wa divine Mnasema tushirikiane Tupeleke Kenya mbele Nikiongea na nyinyi saa hizi hapa katika mji wetu wa Nairobi Mimi najua kanisa la divine liko hapa Nairobi na tuko na viongozi wengi Mambo matatu ya muhimu nataka niwaambie kama watu wa Nairobi Tumekuwa na shida ya changamoto ya mambo ya maji The good news I want to tell you now ile northern connector ambaye ilikuwa tunangojea miaka nyingi tumekamilisha sasa 140000 million liters of water additional water is now coming to this city of Nairobi wale watu wamekuwa kiangaika hapa Kibra kule Langata na kusemu zingine now we are sorting it out working with the, with the county government of Nairobi ya pili hapa Nairobi nyinyi mnajua Nairobi River ni mahali chafu takataka mahali yenye uvundo mimi nataka niwaambie sasa kuanzia wiki ijayo tumeweka kandarasi to clean the Nairobi River working with young people in this city vijana wa kwanza elfu kumi wako kazini vijana wengine elfu ishirini tutawaweka kazini kutoka hapa hapa Nairobi ndio tuweze kupanga ajira nyinyi vijana na vile vile kusafisha mji wetu wa Nairobi Nairobi is the capital city of the world matters environment katika Nairobi city ndio tuko na UNEP hii UNEP ndio the headquarters ya mambo ya mazingira duniani kote we cannot have a city that is dirty in the headquarters of environment in the world it's not possible na ndio sababu tume uh, we are, we are, we, are, we have put our eyes on we have set our eyes on making sure that we deal with the challenges of Nairobi even as we do more housing in the city of Nairobi 
Kwa hivyo ndugu zangu mimi nawauliza tushirikiane tufanye kazi hii pamoja and I want to promise you mimi I am focused na mimi sitaonda sitaondoa macho yangu kwa focus yangu kuwe na hii kupande kushuke kulia kushoto forward tunasonga mbele because as i said i am a man on a mission and my mission is to transform, is to transform this country i know it's not going to, to be easy but it is doable and we are going to do it together so tutashirikiana pamoja sisi wote tukienda mbele kwa hivyo na wasihi viongozi wananchi tuungane nimewasikiza kwa makini ni kweli tuko na shida kubwa vijana wetu hasa wasichana wanauawa kiholela wasichana watu ambao tungekuwa tunawaonyesha mapenzi tungekuwa tunawapenda sasa imekuwa ni mambo ya mauaji how can it be that our girls the women of Kenya that expect us to love them that now they are dying in the hands of men we have a criminal problem and we have a moral problem we need to address both of them as government i want to promise you we will go out of our way provide resources for our police to deal with this challenge but equally as parents starting with myself as parents as kenyans we must also deal with the moral issue let us not just finger point as to who should do what we should also begin by saying what will i do as a citizen so that we can stop this menace because it is hurting our girls it is hurting our families it is hurting us as a as a citizenry so tutashirikiana and we are going to have a comprehensive program on how we are going to address this in a wholesome manner so that we deal with the criminal issues but we also apply our minds to the moral issues in our society mwisho kabisa mimi nataka niwashukuru sana kwa kutukaribisha hapa Nairobi sakaja amesema ya kwamba anataka kutusaidia katika ile dish yake wewe tengeneza dish watu wa kule dish si ndio na amesema nyinyi atapanga mambo yenu hapa so si namna hiyo mimi nitamsaidia ndiye apange hiyo maneno kabisa ikamilike ikiendana kuna mambo mawili ya mwisho mnajua tuko na kanisa pale boyani cathedral yetu nilikuja pale nikaweka jiwe la msingi si ndio na askofu hapa ameniuliza vile hiyo kanisa itakamilika so nimemwambia askofu hatuwezi kufanya harambe tena ya hiyo kanisa eh mimi mimi niko na marafiki wa kutosha si ndio mimi niko na marafiki ya kutosha na mimi nawaomba nimewasikia Peru akisema ati mnataka kunipromote niwe kasisi hapana muniwache tu hapo kwa evangelist tunaelewana muniwache hapo kwa evangelist kwa sababu bado mimi niko na kazi ya kufanya ya evangelism nataka nifanye evangelism ya digital jobs export of labor UHC nifanye evangelism ya housing nikimaliza hii kazi ya evangelism hiyo kazi yote ikisonga mbele basi mnaweza kunipromote niwe kasisi for now i want to remain an evangelist si namna hiyo sasa hiyo kanisa nimesema niko na marafiki wengi Mosalia yuko hapa Sakaja yuko hapa Ishungwa yuko hapa Aaron leaders wote niko na marafiki wengi na huyu haladwa eh ndiye atakuwa anaongoza kwaya ya wale ya wale watu ya kujenga kanisa si ndio so that hiyo utatufundisha hiyo wimbo naona uliimba vizuri watu wakashikilia so hiyo kanisa kwa mapenzi ya Mungu tutatafutana marafiki tujenge hiyo kanisa tukamilishe tuwapatie ufunguo muendelee na ku, uh, kwa hiyo katika dolieni si ndio si ndio 
hiyo na pia vile Sakaja amesema hapa Nairobi mtapangana na watu ya ofisi yangu nimemwambia ndio tuweze kusukuma mambo yenu mbele pia deputy governor wetu amesema kuhusu masoko tulikubaliana masoko tunajenga mpya Nairobi ishirini. county government kumi na sisi kumi. yangu ya kwanza inne nimefanya advertisement inasonga nitafanya hiyo ingine sita tayari kule kwa Karauri tumeanza soko kule maji mazuri hapo Jogoro tumeanza soko hata wewe aladwa unajua hapa eh, South B tumeanza soko tunapangia maneno ya soko kule Riruta pia tunaweka soko huyu KJ anajua so yale soko zingine tunakubaliana na hawa waheshimiwa mahali ya kujenga so that we make sure that hata mama mboga anafanya kazi mahali kuna heshima kuna maji kuna stima na kuna mambo ya usafi so that we can all move together kwa hivyo eh, askofu na viongozi wa kanisa la divine asanteni sana mimi nataka niwasihi muendelee kuombea taifa letu la Kenya kutuombea sisi tuliopata nafasi ya kuwa viongozi ndio tujue mapenzi ya Mungu na tutekeleze mapenzi ya Mungu otherwise asanteni sana tunawapenda sana na nimekubali ile mkutano ya mwaka ujao eh hey. Munasema hii mkutano ya mwaka ujao tufanye wapi? <laughs> eh, hey, niko na kiwanja, niko na kiwanja kubwa, nimetengeneza, nimepanda nyasi. Si ndio? Bas, inakaa kama carpet hapo. Sasa nyinyi mujipange. Next year hii mkutano tunafanya state house. <laughs> Eh, nimesikia eh, Sakaja alisema ati kuna kiwanja ingine hapa kando ati tupeleke hiyo kiwanja hapana hapana tupeleke kabisa katikati huko <laughs> eh ndio kwa sababu hiyo state house ni mali ya maombi eh ndio mkuje kabisa ule shetani tumwambie rizwa <laughs> Ama mnasemaje watu wa divide? Namna hiyo? Hulia la. Hulipo moja. Kabisa. Asanteni sana. Nyasaya mulinde.